Welcome to session six of Awaken, John Wesley and the Methodist Movement. We have been walking our way through the story of John Wesley and the story of the Methodist Movement of which we are a part of still today. Session six focuses on this concept of that Wesley actually wrote in a sermon called Catholic Spirit. I know, you just had this moment and you're like, wait, I thought it was about Methodism, not Catholic. Actually, the word Catholic in this context doesn't mean a specific theological way or tradition or denomination. It has to do with universal, like a universal way of looking things. And that's not universalist, but just a broad way of looking. One of the things that Methodism is known as is via media, the middle way. You may have heard Methodism uh, explained as the extreme center. We often hear, and maybe even for you, you have a story of a spouse, you and a spouse being from very different traditions in, in Christianity, but found that Methodism is kind of the middle way, that it kind of, it fits. And that's not by accident. That is definitely a way that Wesley saw. And we see this written in his sermon about Catholic spirit. Remember, a universal spirit, not just a Methodist spirit. And it's not Catholicism, but a universal way not to look at things. And what this has to do with where we see this playing out and where it played out for Wesley in early Methodism is this concept of where we find divisions. We put our stakes in the ground and we say, it's my way or the highway. And Wesley, his sermon about Catholic spirit very much speaks to this belief that he has that we see woven throughout his theology about that it's it's all about loving God and loving others, the greatest commandment. And that is one of the ways that he saw it. The scripture that he wrote about this sermon about is actually comes from Second Kings 10, 15. And it's this conversation in which one of the person says, give me your hand. And it's this concept of how do we walk with each other in the midst of circumstances and issues that we disagree. Wesley did not say this saying, but it is very much one of those that we consider in Methodism. In the essentials unity, in the non-essentials liberty, in all things charity, love. Charity is love. So in the essentials, unity, in the non-essentials, liberty, freedom, in all things, love. And that is, it was important for Wesley in his time, and it is important in our time as well. Wesley wrote in his sermon, It is loud even by those who do not pay this great debt that love is due to mankind, the royal love. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, carrying its own evidence to all that hear it. What about you and I? How do we take our love of God and love of others into our conversations, into our places of division? John and Charles Wesley often debated with George Whitfield, who was a contemporary. They they served at the same time and they worked together and worked separately as well. They often had conversations about predestination and grace and justice and didn't always agree about the theology of those. Yet towards the end of Charles's life, he wrote a letter to George Whitfield in which he says, we loved more when we knew less. We loved more when we knew less. That's the goal of Methodist, uh, even to today, that how is it that we can have these conversations that are based on love? For Methodist, part or core to who we are is that we are historically Orthodox Christians. And Orthodoxy is, has to do with what we believe. 
we believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We believe in the birth, the incarnation of God through Jesus, through Mary. Those core beliefs that we have that are non-negotiable. We believe in social principles which contain a, a confident ethic um, that we believe in um, of the sanctity of life which cuts across partisan politics and we believe in the Holy Spirit. Like those are non-negotiable things as Methodists as we find our place in the middle way, the extreme center in seeking to live in a way that is love, loving to God and loving to others. It's complex. It takes time to walk it out in such a way. So as you move to your group time, be sure to look at the notes that you have. Be sure to answer the questions and think about what this means in the context in which we are currently living and how as individuals and groups, we can love God and love others in the midst of our differences. We are awakened to this.